So you have 433 megahertz receiver module and transmitter module. Now what? Hey everybody, Steve Perry here. In this video, I'll show you how to connect the 433 megahertz receiver and transmitter modules to your Raspberry Pi using an expansion board. Here's what we'll do. Connect the breadboard's rails together. Mount the receiver module onto the breadboard. Connect the receiver module to the Pi. Mount the transmitter module to the breadboard. And connect the transmitter module to the Pi. This video accompanies part one of my IoT home automation tutorial series available at IBM Developer Works. A link to the tutorial series is in the video description. Make sure the expansion board is mounted to the breadboard and connected to the Pi using the ribbon cable. There are four groups of rail connections on the 63-row breadboard we'll use, and each of the holes within a group are connected, but the four groups are not internally connected to each other. For this project, we need all but the last group of four rails connected together. Let's call these groups 1, 2, and 3. Groups 1 and 2 are on the same side of the breadboard. They can be connected using a jumper wire. I've used a short jumper wire made specifically for this purpose, but any jumper wire will do. Now connect groups 2 and 3, which are on opposite sides of the board. And now groups 1, 2, and 3 are connected. Let's take a quick look at the receiver module. It has four pins, ground, supply voltage or VCC, and two data pins which are used to communicate with the Pi. This particular receiver module doesn't appear to be marked, so how did I know that? If I turn the module over, the ground and VCC pins are marked, meaning the other two are the data pins. Connect the plus five volt GPIO pin from the Pi to the positive rail. Then connect the GPIO ground pin to the negative rail. Now mount the receiver module on the far right of the breadboard. Connect the ground pin to the negative rail. And connect the VCC pin to the positive rail. Now using a longer jumper wire, connect the data pin closest to ground on the receiver module to GPIO pin number 27 on the expansion board. Let's take a quick look at the transmitter module. It has three pins, ground, supply voltage labeled VCC, and the data pin labeled ATAD on this module. Mount the transmitter module between the expansion board and the receiver module. Connect the ground pin to the negative rail. Connect the VCC pin to the positive rail. Now connect the data pin to GPIO pin number 4 on the Pi. And now your 433 megahertz hardware is set up and ready to go. In the videos for part two of this series, I'll show you how to run software on your Raspberry Pi to detect 433 megahertz signals from remote control devices like this one that let you control wireless devices like light switches. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Steve Perry. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. So long.